this is a conversation about energy and the way a lot of people are approaching things. It is so 1980s. It is so goal setting. It is so get hold of what you want and focus upon what you want and don't listen to other people and follow your dream and blah, 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 and all of that stuff. And we agree with all of that. We just think that you're ready for the vibrational version of this. We know for sure that you're ready for the vibrational version of this. That's under the influence or not. In other words, no one can think those thoughts they want to think unless they are in the vicinity of those kind of thoughts. When you take an example of someone else, there are so many people that have had such success, are having such success, that we're feeling discouragement and therefore we're attracting discouragement at some point in their life. But we want you to understand, no one was getting that kind of information from someone who wasn't feeling that way. That was his point of attraction at that time. And so you've got to figure out some way to have a different point of attraction in order for there to be encouraging words come to you. You see what we're getting at? This is not about the action that you offer. It's the vibrational premise or stance from which the action is inspired. And so we just want to get right back to the root, 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 root. We want to get back to what influence are you under and then the information that flows to you, you can take it to the bank. But if you're discouraged, the information that comes to you is not going to be meaningful or worthwhile. It's just going to be more of the same, more of the same, more of the same. Did that make any sense? So how would you know if you're offering a beneficial vibration? Well, the first thing that you have to understand in order to understand your guidance system at all is that you are this physical being but there is a non-physical part of you too who is in every moment in time offering a vibration too and these two aspects of you work so well together and they have somewhat different intentions in that the non-physical part of you remains non-physical which means it remains pure and non-resistant and always in harmony with who you really are and what you've come to be while the physical you could very well be varying with that you might be focused upon something that is not allowing you to be a vibrational match to who you really are you are pure love and sometimes when you focus upon something and you feel what you call hatred or anger or disappointment or disapproval those emotions are what you feel when you get crossways of your true current and so as we began explaining that to Esther in the early days she took some issue with that because she felt very justified sometimes in the negative emotion that she felt about some things or some people. And she said to us, I think Abraham, you just need more information about them. <laughs> because if you knew what I know, then you would feel like I feel. And over time, we were able to help her to understand that her true nature is one of love also. And that didn't set very well with her or a lot of people because it made her and some of you feel like, oh, well, no matter what rotten thing is going on in the world and no matter how badly some people are behaving to others or even to me, that it's up to me to make all the adjustments, that they can just go on being the obnoxious, terrible people that they are, and I have to make all of the adjustments, and that just does not seem fair. And we said, well, let's talk about this. Yes, that's the way it is. Because you are the only one who can contour your vibration or contour your point of attraction. And so when you realize that even though some circumstance or event or other individual is a object of your attention and as you are observing them or giving your attention to them, you are feeling uncomfortable, still it is your control of the way you look or the aspects that you look for that makes the difference in whether you separate, it's too strong of a word, but move away from your own inner being or move towards your own inner being. And when you move towards your inner being, you feel better. And when you move away from your inner being, you feel worse. In other words, this is the way your guidance system works. So when you, once you've launched this rocket, once you've identified with clarity what you prefer, and sometimes it takes a little bit of life experience to do that, once you have identified that you want something, then as you think about what you want and you talk about what you want, then you move in the direction of what you want and you feel so good because your vibration has smoothed out. You have become a cooperative component to your own creation. And you are in sync with the broader part of you, which is where all satisfaction comes from. 
But as humans, you sometimes, often, an unreasonable amount of time as far as we are concerned, you care what other humans think about things more than you do about finding resonance with the greater part of you, with this very wise, very old, very expansive part of you. And so often, instead of moving in the direction of who you really are, you move in the opposite direction of who you are and what you want by continuing to point out why you want that by beating the drum of what's wrong in the being without it. And you get what you think about. So this is the thing that we want to help you to sort out in the hours that we are together today. What vibration are you offering? Because sometimes you think you're offering a vibration that's in harmony with your desire and in harmony with who you are because you're smiling and using positive words. And we say, you cannot fake it till you make it because you can't offer words that you do not feel and affect your vibration in any way. And so sometimes you're offering a vibration or a statement from a feeling place of the absence of what you want. And that's what we want to help you to become more aware of because that's the one subtle piece that once you recognize it, then you will so much more steadily be moving toward the allowing of what you want. And you'll be in this receiving mode where you'll receive impulses and ideas and words to say and places to be. And your timing will be so magnificent as you rendezvous with all other cooperative components that will assist you in the delicious life that you've intended to live as you can then witness the magnificent unfolding of things in this never-ending creation that is you. So we just want to remind you that you are so much more than you know and that that non-physical part of you is always aware of you and that the thoughts that that non-physical part of you holds about you and about the subjects of your life, meaning the other people and the circumstances and events, what your inner being knows about you as you come to know it too you'll not only feel wonderful oh, because it feels good to feel good but you will then be the witnesser of the universe and its universal power and focus working things out for you it's so delicious to be this leading edge creator that you are in your physical body and working with the laws and the power of the universe. And it is so hard to be working against it. And without even knowing that you've picked up physical habits along your trail that cause you to work against yourself. Nobody else has any power against you. So it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. They can't negatively affect you. But what you think about them can negatively affect you. It's what you think about what's going on with them because it has to be an active vibration within you to affect you. So an active vibration within you could be about a lot of things, couldn't it? And so that's what we want to help you recognize and clarify and clean up just a little bit if you want to. So we are eager to talk with you about anything that matters to you. Don't worry about us. We will wedge our message in the crack. Also, we want you to know that we've got you outnumbered. <laughs> and so it's very clear to us what you're about and what you want. And it is our absolute promise to you that we will satisfy the things that you want to know about because they are very clear. And we know which of you, we won't choose any of you if you're not willing and wanting, but from those who are indicating that you would like a conversation with us up close and personal here. From those, we will choose those that will answer the most of what is being asked in this room. And as a result, because everything that is spoken, and you'll hear it, you also may very well receive it. You also may very well identify with it. And for sure, you will emit your own vibrational place of being about every conversation that we have. So as that happens, the dialogue broadens to even beyond what this person is specifically asking, oh, we'll get them completely. We will satisfy them to the degree of their ability to hear it. 
but so much more is going to go on in this room here today even so much more than comes through your ears so just relax and enjoy the moving closer to who you really are your ability to comprehend is going to come on in a fuller way than it usually is you're going to understand things and as we talk your feeling of understanding is going to wrap all around you and you're going to feel better than usual and when you leave that understanding will sustain for a while but as you try to explain what you know you know as a result of being here to others you may not know it quite as well <laughs> when you are not in this close proximity but this is the point that we're wanting to make with you you do not have to be in this physical space in order to have access to the expansion that you accomplish in this room here today it's yours forevermore because there is no regression there is no going back so as a result of what we talk about here today and the vibrational movement that happens within you your point of attraction will absolutely shift absolutely and as it does that means your point of attraction will shift which means every relationship that you have will be new which means you can very well have new expectations about old relationships and have new experiences begin to come and that is so much fun